Welcome back. It's Corn, of course, Star 19, and I'm here with another review. And this time I'm going to be reviewing the LA Girl Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. It may be formulated as a concealer, but it's actually a corrector. This is the orange and this is the green one. If you are familiar with color theory, you will understand about complementary colors and contrasting colors. Whatever is on the opposite side of the color wheel, I will insert the color wheel in this area here. So, um, opposite to green's uh, color wheel is the red color. So that means they cancel out. Actually, this is more of a red orange rather than just a plain orange. So in short, they will cancel out each other and create a neutral base. So nakalabel siya as orange corrector and the green corrector. So if you are already a makeup expert or kanang grabe jud ka addict sa makeup, you already know what correctors do. So correctors are created para to correct the discoloration sa imong skin. So depending on how you apply it, it will serve a different purpose. They will make your skin flawless. And here is my two cents on it. Formulation-wise, wala ko yung problema about it because it is cons it is just concealer. It's in between the fine line of liquid and gel, so it's it's kanang smooth siya ibutang sa face. I will insert a shot of me putting it on a palette and then putting it on my face with specific brushes. So the green one I use for red pimples or red spots. So I use a pencil brush. I, I, I like using a pointed pencil brush to apply this on my face because it's more precise and you don't need to cover a large area. You only need to cover the area around the pimple para lang ma cover ni mo siya. Where is this? I use a fluffier eyeshadow brush. Small gapon siya pero it's fluffier. The bristles are more frayed out. Para ma disperse pud ni siya under the under the darkness under the eyes. I will also insert another video of me applying that onto a palette and back on my face. How they work? They work phenomenally. I have no problems with the formulation. Hindi siya kanang uga, hindi siya kanang overly oily pud. It's Okay, in my book. The applicator is more like a brush tip, but since you need, you need the tiniest bit of this para lang spread all over your face. You don't need an applicator like this. Grabi siya ka pigmented enough, so you need the littlest amount, and this applicator does not serve that purpose. Siguro maolang ang akong problem with this is the packaging is in a brush felt tip thingy applicator which is not ideal and hygienic. If you are a makeup artist, this is not ideal for your kit, especially with all the COVID situation happening. You need to be as sanitary as possible. I bought this at uh, SM department store na slay stall with my LA girl and it costs around $3.99 in store. There was a Shopee when I checked the price was around $3.49. I don't know what's with that, but I think they're doing a clearance sale. I don't know. So if you're interested, this brand is widely available at any malls around Davao City or within your area, like Blackpink in your area. Anyways, so that's my two cents on these two correctors from LA Girl. If you're interested in trying it, try it. Share your comments down below if it's your favorite. and. Let's be friends in the YouTube sphere. Stay home, stay safe, wash them hands, and that's pretty much it. Good night! Bye!